Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Julie and um, I'm going to be doing a video for you today using the um, French Armoire uh, die set from uh, Tonic Studios. Um, I've already got a lot of it prepared for you. Um, just move that over there for a minute. Uh, you'll need two of these and I've put red liner tape on I don't usually do that I usually use some um, wet glue um, but I've just done it for today so it makes the video a bit quicker um, and you'll need two of these and I've put red liner tape on there as well and as you can see in the top here I've um, done all my mats and layers um, now this bit I've left in like this because uh, the instructions are on the back of the die packet but if you're like me I like to see somebody actually doing it so what I'm trying to do I'm trying to do this so that it it's I, I've already cut it and I'm trying to get it lined up so that it's um central <laughs> that's what you need to do you need to um, take this detail die put it on there get it central then take it off well take the middle one down take this one off then run it through your die cutting machine and what you're left with is your doors okay and there's a score line down, down both sides all right so that's that bit done And then you've got these two pieces like this, okay? Right, let's put those to one side because I just need to... Um, now, I wanted to say to you about um, choice of colour and things like that. Now, when I'm putting colours together, I usually tend to um, see what goes better. I was going to put the grey on the bottom and then cut into the blue and I I did try that and I didn't like it so what I decided to do um, was put the grey on top and the blue underneath because I wanted to give it like a whitewashed effect and um, so I decided to go with the grey and um, I'm going to be doing a little something else to this in, um, at the end as well or in a minute so I'm just going to put the glasses on and uh, glue this one down and I've kept this one you have got a, a detail to, to go in there but um, the back of furniture they never did, did used to um, they used to do the front lavish didn't they and then you know put detail on the front but um, when it comes to the back they just left it plain didn't they when they were doing furniture obviously you're making a box but I thought oh I'm not going to. I'm not going to put detail in the back. But it is a nice panel. I must admit. It's a so I'm just going to put this round here. Luckily, there's quite a big um, and a lot in there. I'll stick this down onto here. And I'm in a different position because I couldn't get my. Um, uh, glass mat in front of my laptop and I like to see what I'm doing so that you can see as well so I'm giving that a good old press let's get rid of that glue okay uh, now I think what I'm, I do next let's just put that away what I wanted to bring out was some of this stuff now I don't know if any of you have got it uh, probably a lot of you have and um, this one is the expanding one so if you put it on a project and you apply a heat gun to it it expands um, but you can also use it like the ordinary um, paste um, mousse so what I do I never put any water in my pot I always take out a little bit put it on my mat 
and I always make sure my palette knife is always clean before I put it into the pot and I always keep the foil on my pot as well I'll never take it all off and then I just um, I'm going to put my hand over so I will hold on let's move that out of the way that's it I was going to say put my hand up there so that um, I don't get all trapped for the project and then I just mix in I always t if I want to put water with it don't whatever you do don't put water in your pot if you want to put water with it put some out on your mat and then just mix it in the other thing you can do is put it in a spritz bottle and you can put it in there I think uh, what's this one called uh, woven linen this one's called so and um, I've got a, a stencil brush and I like to sort of dab it in and then put it on my mat and take it off again and then just lightly drag it over and that's all I do but I don't want too much on there because I was looking at um, these um, wardrobes, these French wardrobes because that's what essentially they are and I was looking at them and um, a lot of them were like um, antique when I put that in my search a lot of them were like really um, dark wood but a lot of people had um, upcycled and they had like this sort of um, you know when they uh, paint over old furniture they, they sort of had this effect on there so that's what I wanted to I don't want too much on that's it so I had that, they had that like this effect on there and then when you pick it up it all sort of goes um, shiny and really really nice <laughs> I just like the effect of it so that's that one this one's gonna be the front one it's just like really it's like dry brushing this um, so you don't get too much on if you run out you can always get some more um, mousse out The other thing is, if I use my finger with it as well, I tend to be a bit heavy handed and I find that um, this is the easiest way of doing it because then I don't get too much on and you only need to go over lightly, you don't need to um, go over a, t um, a lot with it. So that one's got a little bit of um, a lot on there. Just wanted to, and I've paper pieced a piece of this as well. These um, on the sides. I just wanted to take that back a bit, not that because it's really bright white, isn't it? Um, but I wanted to bring some of the white of the base layer on. Oh, I quite like that. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's getting, um, it's really dark outside today. Those um, thunder clouds, I think they follow me around. Whenever I decide to do a video, they sort of follow me around. So you can see, you can see it all glistening, can't you? Especially on those other ones. I don't know whether to, I want to. When you shine it on towards the light, you can see, can't you? There's some dirt on the doors. Oh, 
Oh. Well, that has gone down a bit thick, didn't it? Oh. Never mind. Just as to it. There. Let's um. Just grab one of these. I just like to. I use that little brush for everything. All right. Just um. Wipe this up. Clean off the palette knife. I'm just going to nip and get a piece of tissue. Just dry it off. Don't want the card going down on wet surface, it'll uh, buckle it won't it? Right, let's take, stick these two together. Oh, sorry, glasses are steamed up, can't see nothing. That's better. So you take off, well, I'll say you take off Bend all the score lines. I've already done that and I've done the middle ones as well. And I would, when you're putting this, when you're die cutting it this bit in, I would um, bend this score line before you do it as well, before you put it back through. Because sometimes when you put it back through and you haven't done it, it can make your score line um, disappear nearly. So um, I, would, I would fold it before you put it back in again. Now, Yeah. Ooh. To get these lined up with those little feet. That's it. Okay. Uh, now, these pieces. Need to come like this. And like that, all right. I don't know if, if that's where somebody was getting because usually when you do one of the boxes, you go straight round like that, don't you? And you put your box up like that, but don't do that because you need to get these um bases in first. And also the lid. I mean, you could leave it out. You, you could leave the lid off if you wanted, I, I presume. So I'll just take it down to um, to this little bit here. That's it. And to bring this one up as well. just pulled it back off because I, I had it too low right now before you bring these others up and around pop in the top bit all right so again I'm putting like um, So this is going to be flush on the top, so it's flush underneath as well. And have the um, glue tabs on the inside so that you don't see them. So we're just going to take off that one as well. Can you see? I don't know if you... I'll just bring that down a bit. There you go. So just bring it up. To where the little curves um, come to that's it and and level with this score line here that's it I'm just I'm just gonna press that one down there okay so you've got it looks like let me just press it so it looks like that at the moment all right so now I'm going to take off the rest of these tapes here 
And what I should have done was decorate it as well. Never mind, we'll do that in a minute. Let's um, do this now. Put that on there, that on there. Do this side. Yes, I should have done because I um. It and you can bring that one up. That's it. Now you've got the last one to take off. Don't want to come off. And I always, when I am doing these, like I say, I, I use wet glue. I don't um, use red liner tape. Only when, or if you want to use it, put some um, white adhesive with it as well, like your wet glue with it. Now oh, it's stuck. Gonna have to. That's it. I needed to um, line that up down there. Right, so that's your wardrobe, wardrobe. See, and then you've got the top like that, so you can't see your glue marks, can you? And you can't see where you've put your glue on the bottom, your glue tabs on the bottom either. So let's start with the back, which is going to be this one, because um, I don't think you needed all that detail in there. So let's put these on. So let's, let's come that side of you and then you can see, can't you? So just bring that in there like that. It's quite sturdy, you know. Once you start um, layering up all your your card and everything, it, they they do become quite sturdy. So now we're going to do this one. I think once you've done one as well, um, you know. Um, within a little what you want to do and probably how far you can um, take it this is this is just a basic one and then we'll do the other side panel don't want to put too much glue on otherwise it seeps out everywhere So that's going to go on to there like that. Okay, now we're going to do this one. Um, what I wanted to show you, that's going to come down onto there, like so. I wanted to. Um, show you um, these little catches which um, once you've got your doors on once you've got your doors on they can come on to here which I should have done beforehand actually now I've just dropped it in there I should have done that before I put, put the box together um, so you you can make a hole in your card and then put like a little um, bread 
which I've got one here you can only just see it it's a very very little one but I chose um, a grey colour to go on there I'll see if I can get it on we'll see right this <laughs> oh, there it goes right let's, let's get this on the front just round the edges there I suppose I'm, not, I'm just thinking I'm just just thinking out loud that if you wanted to put something inside of it because that's not a very big opening is it I'm just wondering whether you could glue one side of that lid down and then leave the other three open and then keep maybe not open the doors put these panels on like that not cut into there just that's just me thinking out loud and then having that hinge on the top of the roof you could get because that's not a very big opening is it to get something in I'm not just thinking <laughs> I don't you know like when something suddenly comes to you you think oh right let's have a look see what I can do here because I really need that in position don't I so I can Hmm. So let's see. I've got the bread well, but do you know? I think I'm going to leave it. But all I've done now is I've put on some um, foam pads on the back of these just to lift them up. And then you've got like a, a little die that has it's all together and it has these little feet and they come out like that and you just have to bend them in half so that you can put these feet on to reinforce the feet. Bet these are steamed up again yet. Yeah. So we're just going to put those on there. That's it. So all you do is just bend them in off and then um, pop some glue on. Sorry about my big fingers. They they really just re um, reinforce those little feet. They're quite um, quite fiddly as well. Right, let's turn that around. Now, let me see what happens here. Also, to go 
with that little hook you get something like that that piece there and it's got little score lines on it so I'll bring it up to the camera where are you there? I don't know if you can see can you see them? The, um, not really can you? Nope. And anyway you'll see them when if you cut them out and you bend on the first one and then there's another one on the other side and you bend that one there and then there's another one just there and that sort of makes a little bracket for you to um, you glue it uh, no I can't see the me where am I there I think that's it so you can put glue on those two bits there and it does, it makes a little bracket so it's something like that and then this little hook will hook into there like that All right. so it goes over like that onto you can stick it onto your wardrobe door alright, let's have a look see if I can get it on and what I I think what I done was I um I sort of tried to see where I needed it to go and which way round I needed it to go. Which that is the wrong way round. That's it, that's that way. Hmm. No. Let me show you on another one. I should have done that beforehand, I think. Because this is what I've done on another one. And so that comes over like that and then that hold that door that hold that door in place. Alright? That's how it should um, look. And that little mechanism there is similar to the one on the jewellery box. So that's another one I've done. I've done it in brown because, like I say, the the um, vintage ones um, were like, they were like dark oak furniture. And then this one is like where they've, a modern one where they've um, painted it white and then done a distressed paint effect on it and that's what this one is based on so that's what that's how they go together um, I hope that has helped and please don't do what I did <laughs> put all you put your details on that one first and do little holes and things for your um, catches to go on um, and then you'll be able to get it together properly I hope that's helped you how to make that box and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.